Hi you guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back with another reading. If you can't tell, I am quite energetic today. Anyway, so the video for today, today's reading, is going to be, um, okay, if you have somebody in your life and you, you know, ever find yourself wondering, um, why do they act the way that they do? What is their problem? What the heck, um, is going on? inside their head that makes them act like this. This reading is for you, okay? Because that's what we're going to try to find out. Um, I can't remember if this was requested or not, but I had it written down, so we're doing it. <laughs> um, we're gonna have three options today. The first one, we have crayons again. The first one is this horrible, like, yellow-green color, all right? <laughs> the, um, option number two is carnation pink and option number three is good old orange can't go wrong with orange am i right okay you guys so go ahead and make your choices and um i want to thank you for all the views and the likes and the comments and also just a reminder but the link to my etsy store is in the description box where you can buy a private reading with me it's $25 for 15 minutes or $40 for 30 minutes and all the details are in the individual listings um also my paypal link is in the description if you want to um throw a couple dollars at me um to help support my channel okay you guys so i think we're gonna go ahead and get started with um group number one all right group number one if you chose the um yellow green crayon um why does the person you're thinking about act the way they do so um i didn't really have any particular direction like with this spread i just kind of pulled random cards out of random decks until i felt like i had the story and here's the story so I feel like this is somebody who um, struggles a lot with anxiety. This is somebody who gets really stuck in their head. We have this card which says, you're already doing it, stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. So this is the card that is like, this person overthinks things a lot. This person has a lot of anxiety. This person, this person has, has some fear, okay? I mean, you know, anxiety and fear go hand in hand, but we have new moon and Scorpio, work through your fears, okay? Um, this is somebody who, they're kind of, you know, they get, like, they get comfortable with the, the way that their life is, and, you know, when they think about changing things up, it's kind of scary to them. You know, I feel like this is somebody who wants to change things in their life because we have this card. This is hold your vision. And this card does talk about, you know, um, having a dream, having a goal, having a plan in mind um, that, you know, sometimes it's like a reminder that, you know, even if it seems like your, your plan is not working, you need to have faith, you know, hold on to that. But it's like... It, it's right next to this card. This is Leap. You go first and the universe will catch you. So it's like, this person has plans. They have goals that they want to achieve in life, but they're afraid of, like, taking the initial leap um, because I think they're really afraid of failure. They're really afraid of, like, disappointing people. They are... Um, and also, it's like, you know, it's like stepping out of their comfort zone is not... Um, it's not a good time. They don't like it. Um, but, I mean, does anybody really like it that much? Probably not. Um, but, you know, this is somebody who I think allows themselves to be controlled by their own fear. Okay. They have, like, anxiety to the point where it controls them sometimes. And it's like, it, it makes them, you know, like I said, it, it makes them not do things that they want to do that they would otherwise do. We got the two of swords. So this card talks about, you know, being stuck, you know, in a stalemate, not being able to make a decision. So that's kind of like where they spend a lot of their time. Like they have ideas about what they want, you know, but they just kind of, 
they think about it and 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 then they but they never end up actually doing it because they just they just spend all their time thinking about it and then they kind of like work themselves up and get themselves like into this state where they're like oh my god I don't know if I can actually do that um never mind <laughs> um so yeah, it's a it's a hard time for them. Uh, I would recommend like, I don't know, maybe Xanax. Um, anyway, this is also somebody who I think has experienced a lot of hurt in the past. We have the temperance card, which does talk about healing. And it also talks about patience. For me, this personally, this card um, comes out for me a lot because I'm a very impatient person and it's always, you know, it's a reminder that I need to be patient with whatever situation that I'm asking about. Um, so this card ha has both meanings here. This is like, this is somebody who needs to heal from something or is trying to heal from something. And also this is somebody that I feel like you have had a lot of patience with, or it could be saying you need to have more patience with them. Um, because this is someone who who really guards their heart. We have the heart card. We have the tower. Um, so it's like they keep their heart on lock, okay, most of the time. They have a tough time letting people in. They have a hard time expressing how they really feel. And so their feelings normally just kind of stay hidden. Um, this might be somebody that you, you know, you don't really know a lot of the times like where you actually stand with them because they're they're they just they're just kind of an enigma most of the time like you just you have no idea what's going on with them and it, it they could be somebody who like you know their actions and their words don't match up and that's because like that's because of this fear and this like nervousness um surrounding like being vulnerable and expressing their their true feelings they have kind of a tough time being assertive and that's not to say that they are like a, a doormat or anything, but, um, it's like I said, they can't, they don't like to express themselves, you know, on like a, an emotional level, like, what's the words I'm looking for? Um, this is not somebody who's going to, you know, um, look, look into your eyeballs and say, um, hey, I care about you very, very deeply. <laughs> um, because, you know, that might be what they're thinking, but, you know, they just, like I said, their heart is just so on lock. It's like, it's like, it's like maximum security up in there, um, in, in that tower where they're, where they're keeping it hidden away. <laughs> and they just, you know, they just don't, uh, they just don't really like to talk about their feelings. They feel, they, I'm getting that some of them, um, you know, they feel like their own feelings are kind of stupid and they don't like talking about them because it makes them feel stupid. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's for some of you. Um, however, I feel like this person is um, kind of intuitive or they have the potential to be. They may have some uh, gifts that they have never really tapped into. And um, for some of you guys, I'm getting that you actually might have some type of psychic connection with this person. Um, this could be, I'm feeling for a lot of you like this is probably a love interest. Um, however, it doesn't have to be. This can be for any type of relationship. Um, but I'm getting for a lot of you, it could be a love interest because we do have give your relationship a chance. Um, so, and we also have the separation card. So I feel like a lot of you are in separation from this person probably, or you don't have very much contact with them. And it's like they, I feel like they want to um, come back towards you and like have another go at this you know, whatever kind of relationship you had, because we have the Ace of Wands, so it's like they, I feel like they're wanting a new beginning, um, but they just, they just, uh, they're just, they're just afraid. They're just overthinking it. Let's see. 
What other cards can we get? Um, whoa. We have the death card. Okay, so they're kind of going through a transformation right now, which is going along with temperance. You know, they're healing from something from their past. And I feel like they are going through a transformation that is like, you know, they are working on building up the courage, the confidence to, you know, make changes in their lives. Or maybe they've already started taking those first steps, you know. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. We got the Three of Swords. So yeah, this is somebody that's been very deeply wounded in the past. And, um, and there's the Ace of Wands again. So they want something, they want to like, they want to um, clean things up and start over like really badly. Um, but they're still, you know, but they're still hurting from something that happened in the past. And they're, they're working on, on this transformation, um, trying to, trying to open themselves up to be, to, you know, to be, um, more vulnerable, like, so that other people can, you know, so they can let other people into their life. Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. So, if you're not in communication with this person, this is a indication that um, I think they would like to contact you. And also, I think they would like to make you some type of offer, probably to start over, um, give give the relationship that you have another go. Because um, this is the Knight of Pentacles. However, um, because it is Pentacles, you know, Pentacles is slow moving energy. So it could be a little while before... Um, they are actually ready to make that offer to you. All right, we got five of wands and knight of cups. I feel like this person has a lot of um, internal battles, you know, that they are fighting, like, pretty much every day. Um, and they have a lot of feelings for you that are, there's the ace of pentacles. Oh. So there's another, you know, this is another card about new beginnings. So it's like, they want a new start. They want, they want a second chance really badly. And they want to offer you something really badly. I think they really would like to tell you how they feel. Um, let's see. Yeah, because they feel, oh my God, they care about you a whole lot. There's, like, a lot of love here. And, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic love. You know, this, like I said, this doesn't have to be about um, a love interest. It can be any kind of any kind of connection at all. And there's strength. They're trying to build that strength. They're trying to get that strength and courage. They're trying to stop. Oh, my God. They're trying to, they're trying to stop overthinking it so much and just take this, take this leap and work through their fears and come towards you and tell you how they feel and offer you something solid and stable so that you can have this like two of cups energy you know this this union like i said i feel like for a lot of you this is a love interest but it doesn't have to be so if it's not i mean like don't get too hung up on that but for a lot of you, I think this is, and it's like, this is what they ultimately want to have, a union, okay? They want to be with you, man. They want to be with you so bad, but they're scared, <laughs> but they're trying to stop being scared. There's the moon. What's that all about? The moon is about things that are hidden. The moon is about secrets. Um, why is it here? We have the devil card. So in the past, they may have um, been keeping their feelings a secret um, from even themselves. There's the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is another card that for me is about communication. And it's about reciprocation. It's about being generous. It's about equal give and take. So in the past, if it was like, 
Um, if you felt like you were doing most of the work in this relationship before, um, it's like they, they want to change that. They want to balance the scales between you. But they're trying to come out of this. They're coming out. They, they are coming out of this moon devil energy where they're feeling stuck and, you know, hiding things, you know, from themselves and from other people. Um, yeah, they're ending that cycle. They're trying to end that cycle right now because they are going through a transformation. Where'd it go? Death. They are going through this transformation and they're ending that, this old cycle and they're starting a new one. Um, trying to be a better person. So that's lovely, you guys. Let's see, do I want to pull out any more cards? Let's get one of these. What else do we need to know about this? Anything else? We have improving health, so um, this doesn't have to mean like physical, like literal health, like physical health. This could be emotional health. This could just be about, you know, like I said, healing from the past. We also have a year from now. So what is that about? What is a year from now? I'm feeling like within this, during this coming year, um, you're your relationship with this person is going to go through a lot of changes, um, for the better. Yeah, there's going to be some truths that are spoken. That's too many. We got the star and we got the high priestess. I feel like this is, um... This is possibly a situation that's been divinely guided, okay? And over the course of this coming year, um, you're going to, this, this connection is going to experience a renewal, a rebirth. And like I said, I feel like some of you guys do have some type of, like psychic or spiritual connection to this person, which will only get stronger. I mean, if you, if you allow it to, you know, if you let them back in and, um, work with them and there's the magician, this is manifestation. This is creation. This is the creation of a, a brand new thing. Wow. So some of you have been trying to manifest this person back into your life, I feel like, and um, you are succeeding. You know, if it seems like you've been waiting for a long time and it, it's feeling like, you know, it, it's never going to happen, don't, um, don't, don't let yourself get too discouraged because, you know, sometimes manifestation, especially when it comes to other people, um, like trying to manifest relationships, it's like, it can take a long time because... It has to wait until the other person is ready. You know, you can't manifest somebody into your life when they are not yet ready for that. Okay. Okay, guys. So that was the reading for number one. Why does your person act the way they do? And um, I don't know. This also turned out to be kind of like a <laughs> energy check slash... I don't know, future prediction. <laughs> Where's the connection going? So I may I may uh, have to change the title of this video. I don't know. All right, group one, thanks so much for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, I love to hear from you guys. I hope to see you next time. And we are going to move on now to group number two. All right, group number two, if you chose the uh, pink carnation crayon, why does your person act the way that they do? And um, once we talk about these cards, I will pull some more to see about, you know, maybe where the connection is heading in the future as of right now. All right. So the first three cards that came out were 
This one, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. This one, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan, and Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So all of three of these cards kind of have a similar vibe, and it's like divine orchestration, divine guidance, um, higher purpose, higher callings, divine plans. So this person that you're asking about, I think, is um, very much like their life, their path that they're on is being very much determined for them by the universe for whatever reasons, okay? Um, could be karmic stuff that they're going through. I'm not sure. But this feels like someone who is... Um, a little bit hot-headed. This feels like someone who has a tendency to um, keep to themselves a lot, who maybe prefers to be alone, who maybe isolates themselves, I should say. Because we got this guy, and he's like, he's like running, he's riding towards the tower. He's like, oh, gotta get back in my tower. Um, before I have to, uh, talk to somebody or something. Um, <laughs> and then we also got the snake. So this could also be, you know, someone who is, um, you know, maybe a little bit selfish. Maybe they, maybe they just, you know, tend to look out for themselves and, you know, they're, they're not, um, they don't really have any qualms about, you know, throwing anybody under the bus if it's for their for their benefit, you know what I'm saying? We also got the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So, I feel like, again, this is somebody who kind of isolates themselves on purpose. It's like, I don't know, it's like they, they want to be a left alone. They want to be left alone for some reason. And it's like they're, they are willing to give up things that they want to be left alone, which is strange. It's very strange. Um, we also have Six of Swords. So it's like, you know, a lot of times I see this card as coming together. But here it feels more like, you know, moving away. Um, yeah. And this, there's this... um little plant, little vine type thing in this card. And it makes me think that this is like, you know, like um, in mythology, in, in there's like some stories where like, or in history or whatever, I don't know where I'm getting this from. This is like, like an olive branch is kind of like a peace offering. I feel like that's what this is. Like there, um, this is somebody who will, you know, who will be like, okay, what do I have to do to get you to, like, leave me alone? I, I'll, I'll give you a peace offering here. Um, <laughs> does that make sense? Um, I, this is weird. This is weird energy. It's like, um, I, I need more cards. I need more information. <laughs> they feel like, you know, it's not safe, you know, opening themselves up to other people. Um, but I'm not really sure why that is. And I'm not totally sure how these three cards are coming into it yet. Oh, there's the five of cups. Five of cups is about, you know, this is a card that speaks of sadness and grief. Um, there's four of pentacles. So I feel like this is somebody who really clings on to, you know, pain that they have felt. They, um... And they just kind of look back on it, like this guy, you know, looking at these pentacles. Um, they just kind of hold on to it, and they keep thinking about it, and they keep looking back on it. And it's like, this is somebody, I think, who maybe holds a grudge. Who um, is just so, like... Like, they can't move on from stuff. They can't move on from something that happened in the past. Ten of Swords. Yeah. 
they they're still walking around with like all these swords stuck in stuck in them and you know they're not that's too many cards they're not um really making efforts as far as i can see to pull those swords out um yeah there's the four of cups again so it's like, I feel like this is somebody who denies themselves of good things, who denies themselves of happiness, um, because they just want to be like, they don't want to open themselves up to being hurt, um, which is kind of a similar vibe to um, group one's person, but this is different. This is like group one's person wanted to change, groups, group one's person like wants to come out of that energy and they're like actively working on that, but this person just feels like, they don't, uh, they don't really see anything wrong with the way they're going about things. They just, you know, and, and they're not, they don't really have any intentions to change that. They're not willing to forgive. We got the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're not really willing to forgive, um, you know, whoever, the people who hurt them in the past. And they're not, and because they're not willing to do that, they're not um, able to learn anything from from what happened before. But it's like, I feel like this is somebody who, um, we have the sun card. So let's see, what's the sun card and the ace of pentacles about? Why are those cards here? Oh my God. There's the moon. I have four cards fall on the floor. Um, there's the Five of Swords, there's the Four of Swords, there's the Knight of Cups, and the Hierophant. Alright, so, um, this is somebody who, I feel like they actually, they want things, you know, they want good things. Nobody, I mean, who doesn't want good things for themselves? But it's like, They're just, um, but they just sit in this energy of conflict and they keep their heart kind of shut, shut down, like nailed shut, you know, like this guy's nailing this coffin shut and they are keeping certain things, you know, like trying to repress certain feelings that they're having with this moon card being here. And I feel like they do pertain to, um, probably to you or, or someone else. Um, cause this is the Knight of cups and we have the sun and we have the Hierophant card, which this card talks about like, um, stability, but also like, commitment, committing to something. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you, this probably is a love interest or maybe they used to be. Um, and it's like part of them does, um, want something with that. You know, part of them does want to, you know, have, uh, you know, start up something new with you. Because they do care about you a lot. They do have a lot of strong feelings for you. Um, and, you know, they they have thought about making you an offer, but it's like... It feels like they talk themselves out of it every time they think about doing something with this. And this is just like... I don't know. This energy, this person's energy just feels very silly to me. <laughs> um, it's like... Why? Why? I, I'm still not totally clear on why. Um, let's see. They feel, okay, 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 okay. They feel like they're not good enough. Because we have this card, there's something better. They feel like um, you, you know, you can do better than them. And they may be right. Okay. You know, they say when somebody shows you who they really are, that you should believe them. Um, so they may be right, maybe not. Maybe they're, you know, maybe they're not giving themselves enough credit. But they feel like they're not good enough for some reason. And um, 
you know, they would just prefer to be left alone, to... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. For some of you guys, this is like a high-level soulmate. That's what these cards up here, you know, talking about divine plan and stuff is, is going on about. Um, so this, for some of you, this is a high-level soulmate. For some of you, this could even be a twin. Um, and so it's like, you know, this connection is like terrifying for them because it's not like anything they've felt before, you know, and it makes them feel very vulnerable and I need more cards. Yeah, there's a Six of Cups. This is a Soulmate card. And there's the Chariot. Two of Pentacles. King of Wands. So, I feel like for... Okay, for some of you guys, this is a Twin Flame. And they are running. They are the runner in this situation. Because we have the Chariot card. So, this is like them trying to constantly move away. Um, We have... Santa Muerte, this is the death card. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups came out again. You may have made them an offer in the past that they denied, or maybe they made you an offer in the past that you rejected, and so now they're like, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> um, so, but it's like, with this Two of Pentacles, this card is about balance, okay? And you can see that um they have they both have like butterflies painted on their faces but and it's like each wing is on you know each of their faces so it's like they're kind of mirroring each other so you know twin flames mirror each other and twin flames are you know they balance each other out so i feel like you there's a strong possibility that a lot of you guys are dealing with a twin and this person, the reason why it's not working out, the reason why they keep running is because they're just not ready. They're just not ready to be this, you know, embody this king energy. They're just not there yet. They're, um, they're a little bit more like this Knight of Pentacles, you know, moving really slow. Um, they're like, you know, I don't have a lot to offer you. I have, um, I have a pentacle, if that's, if that's good. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, uh, I think I would like to just keep my pentacle to myself. Um, because you're kind of, you're kind of spooky. I don't know. I don't really understand you. I don't understand why I'm so attracted to you. I don't understand why I'm so drawn to you. So, like, if you could just leave me alone and leave me alone with my pentacle, that'd be great. Um, so, so they're just, they're just not ready. They're not ready. They still have things to learn. They, um... They could be dealing with some karmic stuff, like karmic partners, or um, it could be that they need to, to um, you know, go through some stuff with karmic partners before they will be ready for you. Um, but yeah, they have things, they have growing to do, they have things they still need to learn. Before they will be solid and stable enough to actually hand their pentacle over. So we got a year from now. So possibly um, in about a year from the time you're watching this, they might be, you know, they may have done some growing and they might be a little more ready for, you know, something with you. But I think in the meantime, you're just going to have to like move on for the, for the time being because this person is in no way ready to accept or acknowledge the connection that you have with them. All right, group number two. I hope that was helpful. I hope that gave you some insight. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope it resonated with you. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number three. All right, group three, if you chose the orange crayon, what is going on with your person? Why do they act the way that they do? And also, um, you know, where where might this connection be heading? Okay, so let's find out. Um, so first of all, I want to say that we got um, a year from now. This was the first card that came out. 
And I'm thinking that this is not saying that anything in particular is going to happen a year from now. This card, I think, is saying that this year is going to bring a lot of changes for this connection. Every reading today has gotten this card. It's come out for everyone. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling like, you know, there's a lot of, um, a lot of things are going to be changing this year, um, especially in terms of relationships, especially in terms of soul connections, because we do have the soulmate card. And um, I think, I think probably every reading today also has had, you know, some indicators of there being soul connections. Um, wasn't it uh, Kylie Jenner who said that 2016 was going to be the year of realizing things? Um, I am saying that 2019 is going to be the year of things happening. Okay. Because this is just too much. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I feel like you are, um, whoever you're thinking about or asking about is, um, probably a soulmate because we have a soulmate card and whoever they are, they are in the process of recovery, um, from something. They could be, um, recovering from something that was karmic. They could be, they could be recovering like physically, you know, like from an actual illness or injury, um, or just emotionally from something that's happened to them. But it's like, they are, they're in like this really high, um, vibrational energy right now. And I feel like they are attracting a lot of abundance to them. We've got, um, birthing a new age and we have dance with life. So this card says, uh, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So it's like they're recreating their reality. All right. They're rebuilding themselves. And then this one says, do something to change your energy. So <clears throat> if they were in a, in a lower vibrational energy before they are, um, they're like actively raising that, you know, they're actively changing their energy and trying to, you know, make a difference in their lives in a number of ways. I feel like. So we also have um, our Lenormand cards. We have the gentleman, we have the sun, and we have the stars. So the gentleman card is usually um, a significator. Uh, usually it represents a man. Um, but I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to be a man that you're thinking about. Um, it could just be like, uh, if it's, if it's like a twin flame, it could just be, you know, your, um, divine masculine, you know, they could just have that kind of energy, whatever. I mean, don't, don't think about it too hard. Um, but with the sun and the stars, it's like both of these cards are giving me like big, like, uh, divine universe kind of cosmic energy here. So it's like, What is it like? What is it like? I don't... It's like unending joy and happiness. It's like, you know, um, something that's written in the stars. Both of these cards, I mean, they just talk about happiness. And it's like... I don't know. It's your person that you're thinking about is just in this really good energy right now that I'm feeling. Um, we also have hold your vision fixed moon. So it's like, um, something, something that they've been working towards, you know, they are still trying to get to it, you know, something they've been working towards for a long time, I feel like, or this could also be, you know, this connection is a long time in the making and it's not over yet. All right. There's still, um, more, you know, there's still more ways that it, uh, more cycles it has to go through, more things, you know, um, that the two of you will be in, going through together, you know, uh, I feel like some of you guys are already, like, with this person, like, you know, you've already had, like, union, like, legit union, and interesting, but I do feel like this is something that's been a long time in the making, whether you've known this person for a very long time, in this lifetime, or, you know, this is something that the universe has been working a long time to bring you together, but because we have worth waiting for, okay, um, divine timing is at work, and then we also have, 
We also have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this goes along with what I was saying about how it feels like this person is recovering from something. They are freeing themselves from some kind of negative energy or heavy energy that they were dealing with. They're like purging, you know, negativity from their from their energy and it's really making a difference. It's, you know, they're coming into this sun kind of energy like they're um they're just like bright. They're just like, it's just like, um, they feel like, they feel light. Their, their, their aura, their energy is like really bright, like golden kind of light. It's kind of like angelic looking. Um, we also have very soon and within the next few months. So it's like you guys, I feel are, um, on the tr on on the path to you know coming together with this person within the next few months which you know that is pretty soon and um or if you're already with this person you know like if if um if you're watching this and like you and this person are you know you're cool with each other and you're and you're watching this for some reason um it, i i feel like something is going to happen that's going to change the connection soon like within the next few months um and not not in a bad way I feel like it's going to be a good thing whatever this change is that's on its way um but I just feel like there feels like there's some kind of change that's coming okay so let's see if we can't get anything else we have the four of swords we have the knight of cups so if you're not with this person yet already, I feel like um, they're going to be making you an offer. Um, also, I feel some of you are probably in separation from this person. And they've been in this Four of Swords energy. And it's like, um, you know, technically this image is like this guy is hammering this coffin shut. But also sometimes I see it as him prying it open. So it's like they are um, going to be coming out of the coffin, coming out of that Four of Swords energy, all right, to come towards you. And there's the King of Wands, to be in this King of Wands energy where they're, you know, they're feeling passionate about life, feeling kind of mature, you know, they've found balance. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a twin flame um, because this card, like I was saying um, for group two, they also got this card. You know, the, the images on their faces are, like, mirrored, okay? And this card also talks about balance. So it's like, you know, your twin is your mirror and, you, you know, you balance each other out. So it's like, you're going to find that balance with each other. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out for us. There's just a lot of really bright, good, um, oh. I dropped a bunch. Oh, they went in the floor. It just feels like a lot of really good, like, sunshiny kind of energy here, which, I don't know, it kind of makes sense with this orange crayon, because this is orange, and orange is whatever. Um, anyway, does anything else want to come out? Oh, there's too many. Page of Cups, yeah, Page and the Knight of Cups. So I am definitely seeing some kind of offer being made, a love offer probably. Um, I feel like you guys this year, um, you, this connection is going to evolve like in a really exciting, good way. Okay, and that's really, um, that's really all the information that I am getting here about this so I think I'm gonna leave it at that okay group number three that's your reading I hope it resonated with you feel free to let me know your thoughts I do love to read your comments you guys um thank you so much for watching if you are from a previous group and you're still here thanks for sticking around I really appreciate all of your support you guys it really means a lot to me I love you so much and um yeah, I never, I never know what to say in these outros, so, um, I don't know. Bye. See you next time.